we were putting our groceries into the car and we heard this loud thud and then screeching of tires. A 48-year-old woman is dead tonight after being struck by a car in East Aurora last night. This happened in the parking lot of the Topps Friendly Markets on Gray Street. News 4's Jen Shan spoke with a witness who tried to save the woman's life. Jen? Don, that witness who wants to remain anonymous has a medical background and was able to provide some first aid. But the woman's injuries were too severe. She was pronounced dead at ECMC. She was walking out of Tops last night just before 10 with her son, who is an employee at that location. It was a simple trip to the grocery store that ended in tragedy. The woman's son was yelling out at the driver. And that's when... I realized that there was a woman on the ground. The 48 year old was struck by an SUV in the Tops parking lot in East Aurora Sunday night. The vehicle was not in a parking spot, but police say it was moving backwards. It appears the vehicle was traveling in reverse and struck the woman and her grocery cart, um, uh, causing head injuries to the female. She was transported to ECMC, where she died hours later. According to East Aurora Police Chief Shane Krieger, the surveillance system at the Tops was not able to capture the incident. We spoke to the woman who called 911 and tried, along with another witness, to save the woman's life. She was beating severely. So I had asked the other girl, I said, I need something to wrap around her ankle. She handed me, she emptied out her shopping bag of groceries and handed me her shopping bag and we tied that around and managed to make a tourniquet with it. The woman was walking out of the grocery store with her son, who works at that location. No charges have been filed against the driver, who is 18. East Aurora police are working with the Erie County Sheriff's Office on the investigation. We are still waiting for the name of the victim to be released. A spokesperson for the Tops Market released a statement expressing its condolences to the family. They are currently working with authorities on this ongoing investigation. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jen Shantz, News 4 at 6.